now you can see that we have our proof and I think there's a couple areas that could use a little more work I'd like the side of this this bridge this abstract form here to to stand out a little bit more so I can go back in and, and cut uh, what's nice now at this point too is you can actually see on the block um, the dark versus the light so there's two things you can do here uh, go ahead and begin to cut the block with the ink on it and you can see your marks as well um, maybe taking a piece of paper uh, to hold the block in place um, or using another block you can hold it so you don't get ink on your hands uh, you can see that I'll probably reveal this this is why it's a proof I'll go back in here I, I really like this street light um, to reveal itself and I think I'm actually going to cut some marks across as well to kind of show um, the light from the street pole street lamp itself and maybe rough up the background a little bit more to create a graze so that this this dominant shape here stands out as well so all I need to do is reinvestigate the block with my tools so you can see I'm reinforcing some contrast in my image Uh, making sure that this nice bigger shape shows up and I'm also going back through and defining my horizon line here so now that I've made my corrections I'm going to proof this wood block again uh, which I believe will be my finished complete image. Voila. As you can see, here are the two proofs that I pulled off my wood block. This is the first state, and here we have the second state of this wood block. Uh, in the first state, uh, all of the bottom information primarily re remain the same. It's up here in the sky, so to speak, is where I've changed the image. Uh, I really enjoyed this light pole coming up in the initial photograph so I wanted to um, reinforce the fact that that was a light pole so you can see here that that it barely was was legible and what I did over here was take my C or my V gouge I'm sorry and cut marks that were like rays of light coming from the street lamp and I added a couple more marks in the sky as well as took that wire brush over the sky again and um, made that gray value in the background we can also see these little knots in the wood a little bit better than we can over here because I've roughed up the wood grain um, one thing to notice as well is in both of these we can really see the tool that created the mark uh, here we have that screwdriver that I pounded into the the block and here we have obvious fine lines made from a V gouge and then we have these larger cuts that were made from the C gouge and the wire brush effect as well uh, you can really tell the the mark and the tool on the surface of the wood or the linoleum when you make the cut <laughs>